Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Today I'm taking a look at this uh, cool little product. So this is the Atmo 2 Pro. So what this is, is your personal air quality coach. So this thing has some uh, serious uh, sensors built in. Um, it does have some uh, particulate matter, PM1, PM2.5 and PM10 sensors, which require like no calibration, which is pretty cool. It does have built in like a weather station and so much more. Also, we're gonna go ahead and test it out with this uh, air purifier. And also I do have some cleaning products here. We're gonna see how that affects the air as well. So let's get right into it. So take a look at the box itself here and some of the information we see in the front here. So pretty much it warns you about environmental changes and tracks it. So it does have the PM1, PM2.5, PM10 and uh, barometric pressure and uh, volatile organic compounds, temperature, humidity and altitude. So pretty much you're getting a lot of things uh, with this uh, small factor product here. So let's go ahead and open it up here. And there we go. And the cool thing is it does come with a USB type C cable to charge the unit, which is pretty good to see. And the product itself here. So everything is nicely packed actually. And uh, we do get this uh, nice little manual here. And uh, the product itself here. So take a look at the actual Atma tube here. Um, there's uh, really not much around this. Uh, we do have the charging port, which is at the bottom and a button here when you want to turn on the unit and everything like that. Pretty much to turn it on, just go ahead and hold this and it will turn. And a nice uh, hanging uh, place here. So you can pretty much put it in a keychain, anything like that if you want to. So it does come with that. So checking the measurements of this, uh, just so you know if you're going to put this in your pocket or anything like that, so you know the measurements. And uh, looking at the length of it, it's around uh, 86 millimeters here. And the depth of it, uh, let's see here. It's around uh, 22, 23. So around the 23 there. And uh, pretty much to go ahead and connect this, all you want to do is go ahead and hold that button here. So it does have this button. Uh, if for any reason it does not turn on um, and everything is charged, just make sure you plug in the USB Type-C in the charger and then it turns on. I've had that issue, sometimes it doesn't turn on right away when you click this. Uh, you just have to like put the USB and it, then it works fine. So after you have it turned on and everything, uh, pretty much to connect it, it's pretty straightforward. And this is the information you get right away here. So we get the air quality score. Uh, which is a 97 right now with that's actually really good and uh, this is indoors and we can see down here the PM1, PM2.5, PM10 and the VOCS here as well and if you scroll down we can see the barometer and altimeter here and also the temperatures and humidity as well so pretty much you're getting all the things you need and it also tells you here if you're in the comfort zone uh, because right now it's a little bit too hot so we're not in that comfort zone yet and uh, if you go down there's a air quality map as well which tells you around your area how the air quality is and it does have this uh, share with us how do you feel in this environment happy sad or i feel great here i feel good so you have those options and to further understand like what the pm ones and pm 2.5s are and all those information it does have that information in here so if you go under measurement info you can see everything that you need here. So pretty much like air is good if it's 81 to 100 and moderate it's 61 to 80 and air is polluted 41 to 60 and air is very polluted to 21 40. So right now I have everything uh, working and I have the app open so it's telling me all the readings and as you can see here I have a old can of paint here and also some air freshener and uh, window cleaner here and uh, actually a wax cleaning wax here. So we're gonna see how that kind of affects the air quality in here right away. So right now we have it at 97 and the PMs are very low. So let's go ahead and uh, use the air freshener. Obviously I'm not gonna spray it, I'm just gonna put it like around here. And uh, let's see how quickly that number changes here. So right now you can hear a little buzz here, it does have the little fan that goes on inside. And uh, right now it's going to 96, 80, and we can definitely see the effects there. Night drop to 57. And the PMs are skyrocketing up. So 59 right now with the air freshener here. And the air quality is kind of getting better. And the reason why, because I do have an air purifier here as well. So that definitely does help. And we're gonna 
go ahead and test out the air purifier after too. But definitely this air freshener, so-called air freshener, is kind of ruining the air quality for you. So when it comes to these things, not so good for you, according to the to these numbers here. And right now it's going back to 90, so the air quality is kind of getting better to where it was before. And I did not spray this like directly, I sprayed it around here, so it definitely did pick it up very quickly. It does have that fan in there. And right now I'm actually interested to see what happens if I just like put this closer to the paint here. And uh, we're at 96 right now. And uh, let's see what happens when we get it a little bit closer. Obviously, when you paint your walls, you're gonna be smelling this. So let's just see what happens here. I'm just gonna put it a little bit closer here. So we're at still 96 and we should slowly see these numbers climbing down actually. So definitely we can see the numbers going down and uh, I think I got paint on my hand now. So we're at 80 and the PMs and VOC here definitely is going up and uh, that's uh, kind of like that's why you kind of want to have your windows open when you're like painting your walls just to get the, those fumes out because this thing is like bad for you obviously but here, this definitely is telling us the air quality here. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and let the numbers uh, go up again. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the air purifier just so the numbers are a little bit more normal. And uh, there we go, so we're at 91 right now. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and test uh, this uh, can out, see if uh, I just go ahead and spray it like around here, if it's gonna detect anything. So right now the PM1s is like around the two, PM 2.5 is around 4 and PM 5, like 10 is at 5.6 right now, so almost 6 there. So let's go ahead and see what happens. And oh, definitely that drop. And we do get this uh, pop up here which says air is severely polluted. So definitely when you're doing one of these things uh, and the PMs and everything is like kind of going crazy up. And right now I do smell a little bit, but it we like it read it pretty quickly actually right away so pretty much what this shows us is uh whenever you're doing like any vax into your car or anything like that you don't want to get like too close there because you're kind of like breathing all these things in and uh, you probably think those are okay but uh if you got this you kind of know if it's good or not one thing that i found out is while using this in the car actually um inside the car uh, with the windows open this actually the readings were getting uh, lower and lower uh, depending on what area you are and as soon as I closed the windows put the air conditioning on uh, definitely this uh, the air quality went to 95 and the PMs all dropped so definitely I found out that uh, with the windows closed actually the air is better because it does have that like the car has the cabin filter and all that stuff so you're kind of breathing better air if you got your windows closed so just keep that in mind so right now what I want to also do is test out this uh, air purifier, see if uh, this actually makes a difference. So right now we're at 89, I'm gonna go ahead and spray some air freshener just here. And just so we can get the air quality bad here, I just want to see when I put it on the fan of the air purifier, if that kind of like switches the numbers to higher. So right now we're at 86, the PMs are kind of like not on the high end, but uh, so we're dropping to 80. So let's go ahead and put this on the fan leave it there for a bit and see how that improves things because this does have like an HEPA filter and all that stuff so let's see how that works so definitely 85 let's give it a minute or so and see what happens so definitely the air purifier looks like it's working so it's been like around one minute and uh, the air quality is actually getting better and if you take a look at the PM PM 2.5 and PM 10 here definitely lower here that is in front of the fan of the air purifier than uh, just being in the desk here. And if we go ahead and look at the measurement info here, just so you know, uh, the PMs, uh, so PM1 is the particulate matter with a diameter smaller than one micron. And if we go at the 2.5, that's a 2.5 or fine particles. And the PM10s, that's like coarse dust particles. So just so you know on that part. So right now the air quality is actually getting better and better that because I have it in front of the fan, but over time if you're using an air purifier, it kind of proves that it does its job, but you kind of have to pick a good one. But there's a, quite a few of them like with HEPA filters and all that stuff, but definitely worth having an air purifier because it definitely shows here that it's working. And this uh, Atma tube also tells us the barometer and altimeter here as well. 
and it tells us the meters, the height and everything here and the low pressure, all that stuff. And if you take a look at the temperatures here, it actually is 25.5 here and uh, 47 humidity. So actually right now I'm in the comfort zone where before it was a little bit hot right now, like it feels nice in the room. So it's like 25.5 and you kind of want to put your like home temperatures or in the car kind of like in this area as well. So definitely in the winter, this will also come handy if you're using a humidifier, anything like that. So you don't put it too high. You will definitely know the right amount where the comfort zone is. So my final thoughts on this Atma Tube Pro here. Uh, definitely for myself, uh, actually it is worth it because uh, I've been a little bit more conscious of the air I'm breathing and uh, can I bring this uh, with myself everywhere I go just like the other day. I went to a store and uh, I turned this on and uh, pretty much one section of the store the like air quality dropped below like 80 and the other side of the store it was uh, like on the upper 80s 90s so definitely there was something on that uh, section there and uh, I was able to look out for this and uh, definitely there's like new paint on the wall things like that this is actually gonna like pick that up as well the smell and all that and this thing actually is pretty accurate and it does work pretty fast as you saw there as soon as I spray something or like put it close to the paint can it kind of detects things right away fast and uh, it does have this little fan if you like put it close to your ear you can uh, can hear it a little bit it does vibrate just a tiny bit you can like feel there's a fan inside and when we're looking at the battery life you're looking to get it like around a week uh, with this like around less than a week but that's pretty good and it does have the USB type C charger in there as well the other thing what you want to do with this is just turn it on, leave it on and uh, don't turn it like off and on when you need it. I would just turn it on and leave it on when it's time to charge it, charge it. Because what happens is if you go under air quality here, it will keep track pretty much like the everything here. I'm able to see the dates and everything, how the air quality was. So that way you know how the air quality is and also you can set alerts as well. So depending what situation you're in, if you are working in an environment where there's like a lot of pollution or like uh, odors, things like that, that are harmful. And you can see those on this uh, calendar here, kind of. And when we're looking for more information here, it does keep track of everything, not just the air quality. It also keeps a track on the temperatures, on the like daily basis here, the time and everything here. It also keeps track on the humidity. So pretty much you're you have everything. So I can go day by day here, check out how the temperature was or humidity was in, indoors, or I can do it by weekly, monthly or yearly here. So we're able to track all of that. So pretty much the more you leave this on, the more data is going to collect and uh, you're going to be more aware of the air you're breathing. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Also, if you are new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button for more reviews like this. And if you guys have any questions about this thing, uh, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer it. I will see you guys on the next video.